Right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Zultran Sports YouTube channel. This is the second time I've tried to do the intro now. The first time the, uh, the tripod fell over, which isn't great. Um, I've got a beard in the water. I'm fishing southwest Scotland for tall. Um, I'll try and keep the mark um, as secretive as possible. A lot of people do know about this mark though, and there has been a few early talk coming off it. There's been loads and loads of talk coming off the boats in loose beer, um, which are around 30 and 40 pounds. And the biggest one I've seen off this mark so far was uh, last week, um, 40, uh, 30 odd pounds or so. So we're in with a chance. I've got a mackerel bait in the water. I'm going to stick my feathers on and see if I can get some fresh because I've only got frozen at the moment. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Well, there's the top components. Seven ounce lead, wire trace, 120 pound bodies. Boom. That's the first bait about to go out. Lovely bit of mackerel bear body. Uh, well, the belly actually. Um, hooks are proud. Little stop knot to stop the um, the hooks blasting up the line. Seven ounce lead, 120 pound body. See if I can get some fresh beard for the talk. It's a nice fresh mackerel.
right then. So rigs. As you know, top have teeth. So I'm using this um, stainless steel. I hope you can see that alright. AFW wire. Um, you got to use a special tool, just like me, a special tool um, to do the barrel roll. As you can see, there's a hair wire twist into a barrel roll. If you search it on YouTube, it's nice and easy. Um, Mr. Gary Pye himself, he recommended this um, this style of torque rig. I know he uses like, a, I think it's called a blue marlin or something, um, wire. But it takes a little bit longer to get here from America. And um, yeah, I found this to be just as good. Um, never been bit off with it, so fingers crossed, I'm not today. Right, and then I've got a 120 pound body. I'll run you through that now. If I can untangle it. I think I'm still getting that dogfish bite as well. I've just had a spin for the mackerel, but uh, nothing yet. The winter day has blown straight into this point where I'm fishing off, um, so it's got a little bit of murkiness to the water, so the mackerel might have bugged out of here. I know there was loads of mackerel on here last week when it was uh, gin clear and piss flat. Right then. So, as always, rotten bottom clip, 100 pound, sorry, 120 pound body, bead, 295 pound power swivel, onto another bead, onto another 125 pound power swivel. Just bed that down. And basically, I've got this, what's that, 12 inch, maybe a bit more, 13, 14 inch piece of a 120 pound mono again. And all I do is, is I just tie my steel bike trace onto it. that down nice and tight and trim the tag end it's not very long I don't know whether it needs to be long for top but I've caught ear top on a similar rig maybe just an inch or two shorter or longer but I'll quickly get my lead tied on and I'll bring you back for bait. So, 30 pound rotten bottom as always. Bed that down nice and tight. I'm feeling lucky today. I really do hope Mr. Teethy comes across on my first session of the year, that'll be an absolute bonus. Like I said, there's been a few hours off this very mark. There's been plenty on loose beer, which is the massive beer we can see behind the camera now. Right. Snip your tag ends because they cause problems if you don't. side as you can see my first bait's already in the water 
and I love that belly part of the mackerel. I just think it makes for an awesome little bait. Nice oily, loads of guts in it, loads of blood. But um, now I'm just gonna go for this fillet here. Like the absolute mong I am, I forgot my knife. So I'm just gonna have to hack away at it with my scissors, which is uh, definitely not good. To be fair, when I was over Wales last year, that's the exact bait I had me had me talk on last year. Just a fat fillet of mackerel. Only only difference was it was fresh. I'll stick that up with the feathers today though, and I will try and get a couple of mackerel fresh for bait. I've also got some fresh crab there. If things go quiet later on, I'll probably stick that on and on my second rod anyway and try for a, the odd smooth hound and that, or bass. But this is not a very good example of baiting up because this is going to be um, messy, not very streamlined, but it sort of does the job. there I've got power gum on my panel hook just to secure it you know like my smooth hound rigs I've got the knotless knot the good thing about the hair while you're tw twisting the barrel roll is you can really get your bait elastic in between the um, in between the rolls just se properly secures the bait means it's not going to shoot up your line when you um, when it hits the water on the cast Feel like I'm all fingers and thumbs here. So um, not used to beating these up no more. There we go. That'll do it. So that's a bit nice and easy, nice big chunk of mackerel. I hope we catch some of the smaller mackerel. The little joeys, because they make for a lovely bait as well, especially when they're fresh. I really hope Mr. Torp's here.
double doggy. Get them unhooked and get them back. Get the next one baited up. Well, just had about 10 casts for macro. And I'm just getting that beauty there. Probably about a pound and a half that, so that'll get a couple of baitings. Nice fresh mackerel. Get chucked back out and see if I can get some more. Eh? Absolutely plagued by these dogfish at the minute. Next bait and going out. Mackerel head, lots of blood.
there's two more mackerel for bait. And uh, I thought there was a shoal of us, a shoal of them there in front of us, but just the two um, on one cast. A couple of feathers, obviously, but um, chucked straight back out after absolutely nothing. But um, I'm going to continue to chuck the feathers and see if I can add to this pile because fresh bait is absolutely crucial. Like, so fingers crossed. Well, just chucking them feathers out. And, um, got a nice size lawns there, foul hooks, but the mackerel must be in behind them and then the tote will hopefully in behind them. So I've got two fresh mackerel there and I'll keep this just in case I don't get many more because um, I'll take any fresh bait rather than frozen like, but um, we will keep trying and trying and trying again. I apologise for the wind noise and has picked up now. It's been fairly fruitless so far. Just a bunch of dogfish. Absolutely robbing me lovely mackerel veins. Um, like I said earlier, I managed to get a few more fresh mackerel um, for bait. Still got loads of the frozen stuff left as well. Um, I'll put the other rod out as well after the crab bait on that just to see if there's anything in close. out there is dogfish so far but we will keep plugging away and I'll keep trying as always Fish tapping away there. Right then, so my kit and equipment for the day. Using a Zulgron XT435 as my rod. I've got the glass tip in the tip section instead of the full carbon tip and um, as you can see there soaking up the tide absolutely lovely on this mark the glass tip is actually a carbon glass blend so it's not as tippy as a full glass tip which I personally prefer and as you can see there the heavy tide is just is nothing for the tip it's lovely and then for the reel using the Shimano Technium MGS 10,000 XSB 30 pound braid and a hundred pound shock leader Come on you tour, quiet so far. Well, it's been a hard one so far. Probably got about two hours left before I've got to shoot the work. The only thing I can put it down to is it's still a bit early, so the tour were a bit patchy. The northwesterly wind I've got coming in this beer, as you've seen in the little um, cinematic footage. It's uh, just loads of white caps out to sea and I'm getting blasted straight in the face. I fished hard, so it's definitely not a lack of effort. Um, I've been very 
very few mackerel, I think I've had four, four mackerel in a launch for fresh bait, which is a good amount, it keeps you ticking over, but um, I am down to my frozen stuff now, I can't get another mackerel, like, I think this extra chop that's came on close in has uh, cut them off a bit. I wouldn't care last week, it was uh, gin clear and piss flat, so, but hey ho. I knew it was going to be like this, rocking up, watching the forecast and seeing the wind, but I, I still can, but we can only try. Plus I can only get out in the gaps where I'm not at work, like, like everyone else. Worth a go though, still time yet. I'm feeling hopeful. Um, usually, from what I've been told, not from experience, it's usually better as against the back down towards low water anyway. So, we shall keep putting baits in the water. Hopefully, that ratchet screen's off soon. I've got both rods set up the steel traces now and they've both got the mackerel on um, so all out towed now plenty of tide there though which is a good sign around so you can have a look at the lump on the water. That's what I'm dealing with right now. It's not a game stopper, it's just making everything slightly more uncomfortable. Bring us back if I get anything. Good luck to me. Well, that's doggy bites on both rods here. Bloody relentless at the minute, I kind of get away from them. They're not going to bite now, I've turned the camera on. But I'm gonna get these doggies in, get a fresh bait out, and um, hopefully try and winkle out a tool. Well, um, that's me done for the day. I'm gonna start getting these rods in, get packed down, get up the hill and get back to work. Steady away, three hour drive back to work. Nothing but dogfish to report, a couple of mackerel, and a launch. Um, pretty poor day and all, but like I said, I'm not going to be disheartened because it's still early in the season yet. Um, and the best is yet to come, I suppose. But it was just a spontaneous one. Like I said, I got Monday off work unexpectedly, so I thought, Fuck it, I'll, uh, I'll take a jaunt over to the southwest and um, never paid off, but I might next time. But, uh, sorry for the wind noise as well, it's just down here over there. Thank you all for your support on the, on the YouTube videos as usual. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. It will gain the world to me.